Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on mensuration and trigonometry. It's a combination of both these topics. The diagram shows a pyramid on a rectangular base A, B, C, D. AC and BD intersect at M. So AC and BD, these are the diagonals of the rectangle and they are intersecting at M. And P is vertically above M. So you can look at it as the height of the pyramid. Now AB is given as 8 centimeters, BC is given as 6 centimeters and PM is given as 9 centimeters. Now N is the midpoint of BC and since it is a midpoint it will divide the BC line into two equal halves. So we can say that BN is 3 centimeters and NC is also 3 centimeters. Calculate the angle PNM. So they want us to calculate the angle P, N and M. So this is the angle we are looking at. This is what we need to find out. Now to begin with, if I draw a line passing from N to M and till the end of this rectangular base, we can see that AB is the length and this red line which I have drawn is the length and CD is also the length and since N is the midpoint and M is the point of intersection of the two diagonals that means it divides this length into two equal halves so since this is representing the length 8 the point M divides the length into 4 centimeters over this side and 4 centimeters for the M and N. Now keeping this in mind let us find out what is going to be the angle. Now we can clearly see that P M N is forming a right angle triangle. So let me just draw it over here. So P M N. So this point is P, this point was M and this point was N and this was 90 degrees as it was given here. Now PM is given as 9 centimeters and MN we got it as 4 centimeters. So let us write it down 9 centimeters here and 4 centimeters over here. And we are supposed to find out the angle PNM that is this angle. Now to find this angle we are going to use the trigonometric ratio tangent that is tan of angle PNM is given as opposite side over adjacent side. Now remember that anything opposite to the 90 degrees is always going to be the hypotenuse. Any side which is opposite to the asked angle is going to be the opposite side and the remaining one is the adjacent side. So taking this into consideration, we can see that the opposite side is 9 and the adjacent side is 4. So this is our tan of angle PNM. So let us find out now what is angle PNM and take the tan on the other side so that it becomes arc tan or tan inverse of 9 over 4. So it's going to be shift tan inverse of 9 divided by 4 that gives us 66.037 so we can round it off as 66.04 degrees. So this is the angle PNM. PNM. Now let us look at the next part of this question. Show that BM is equal to 5 cm. So we have to show that this side is going to be 5 cm. Now in the part A we had seen that MN was taken as 4 cm. That was half of the length. And since N is the midpoint of BC, we can take only this BN and it can be written as 3 cm because n is the midpoint. Now let us form a right angled triangle 
mn is going to be the height or the altitude of this triangle because n is the midpoint and m is the point of intersection so a line joining the point of intersection to the midpoint of any side is going to be 90 degrees so let me just form a right angle triangle here and redraw it so here we are going to take the 90 degrees as n and this is b and this is m so we have to find the length bm and mn we have got it as 4 centimeters and bn we have got it as 3 centimeters so to find out the length of bm we are going to use pythagoras theorem that is bm square is equal to mn square plus bn square so hypotenuse square is equal to sum of square of the rest two sides of a right angle triangle so mn square is a 4 square plus bn square is 3 square so this is going to be 16 plus 9 so this is going to be 25 and this is bm square so if you are going to find out the value of bm we are going to take the square root of 25 and that is going to give us 5 centimeter so we have shown that bm is equal to 5 centimeter now let us look at the next part of this question calculate the angle between the edge pb that is this line pb and the base ABCD so I have shaded the base ABCD over here so we need to find out the angle made by this line PB with the base so you can imagine that PB is like a wall and we have to find out the angle made by this wall with the floor that is this angle so this is the angle we need to find out now so to find this angle we can take the triangle PM B. So let us again draw this back. Let me draw it as PMB. So here we have P, here we have M, and here we have B. And this was 90 degrees, PM was 9, and MB was got as 5 cm in the previous part of this question. So here PB represents the hypotenuse and 9 represents the opposite side to angle B and the remaining side becomes the adjacent side so to solve this we are going to use the trigonometric ratio tan that is tan of angle PBM is equal to opposite side over adjacent side so we have the opposite side as 9 and the adjacent side here as 5 so we can find out now angle PBM is equal to now let us take the tan on the other side so it becomes arc tan or tan inverse of 9 over 5 so it is tan inverse of 9 divided by 5 that gives us 60.945 degrees or 60.95 we can round it as 60.95 degrees so this is the angle made by the edge pb with the base abcd now let us look at the last part of this question a point x is on pc so that px is 7.5 centimeter so we can say that the point x is somewhere around here on pc and px is 7.5 cm so this length is given as 7.5 calculate bx that is they want us to find out the length of this line bx now to solve this let us first find out the length of pb now to find pb let us take the right angle triangle pmb 
so let me draw it over here it's given as p m and b so this is a right angle triangle and pm is given as 9 and bm we had got as 5 cm so let us write here 9 and 5 and let us find out the length of the side pb by using pythagoras theorem so it becomes pb square is equal to pm square plus mb square so we have here 9 square plus 5 square so let us find out what pb is is equal to square root of 9 square plus 5 square so it's going to be equal to square root of 9 square plus 5 square that gives us root of 106 or let us take it as 10.3 so this is 10.3 centimeter so now we have the length of the side pb let me erase the rest two sides so this is going to be 10.3 pb the same thing lies with pc because the height is remaining same and since this is a rectangular base all the sides that is pb pc pd and pa will be of length 10.3 centimeters so pc is also going to be 10.3 now the next thing we are going to do here is divide the triangle pbc into two equal halves and draw a line joining p and to the base bc now this is going to be the 90 degree angle because pn is the altitude which is joining the base bc now we can see that the two triangles are same that is we have the hypotenuse as 10.3 now bn is going to be 3 centimeters because n is the midpoint and so goes with nc this is also 3 centimeters and here also we can see that pc is 10.3 so triangle pbn is same as triangle pcn so let us try to find out the angle bpn So this is going to be P and this was N and this was P because N is 90 degrees. Now PN we do not know what is the height but we know that PB is 10.3. So let us take this as 10.3 and BN we had it as 3 centimeters and we are trying to find out this angle that is BPN. Now to find this angle we can use the trigonometric ratio sine because this is the hypotenuse which is opposite to the 90 degrees and opposite to the angle P we have 3 so this becomes the opposite side and the sine which is the trigonometric ratio can be written as sine of angle BPN is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And since we have the opposite and hypotenuse, we are going to substitute here 10.3. So we have now angle BPN. It's just half part of the entire triangle. So we are just finding out the half angle here. So we get it as sine inverse or arc sine of 3 over 10.3. So we get it as sine inverse of 3 divided by 10.3 16.93 so this is just a half angle as I told before so the entire angle is going to be 2 times 16.93 because these two triangles are exactly same so the big angle BPC so angle BPC is equal to 2 times angle BPN so we get it as 2 times 16.93 so let's see how much we get this times 2 so 33.86 so let us take it as 33.86 degrees 
Now let us write it over here. The entire big angle, let me erase this, is going to be 33.86. Now we found out this angle because we are trying to find the side BX. Now let me erase the rest sides which are not necessary. So we need just this triangle now. Now we can see that in this triangle we have one angle and we have two sides. So we need to find out the side BX. To find this out we are going to use the cosine rule which could be written as BX square is equal to the rest two side squared of this triangle that is PB square plus PX square minus 2 times PB times PX times cos of the angle opposite to side BX that is cos of angle P. Let us substitute the values. PB we have got it as 10.3 so this is squared plus PX was given as 7.5 square minus 2 times 10.3 times 7.5 times cos of the angle P that is 33.86 so 33.86 so let us find out how much we get over here. So we have 10.3 square plus 7.5 square minus in the bracket 2 times 10.3 times 7.5 times cos of 33.86. So that gives us 34.04. So 34.04 and taking its square root so BX is equal to square root of 34.04 let us see how much we get so we have square root of answer given as 5.834 so we have 5.834 centimeter so this is the length of the side BX. So to find out the side BX, we first used the trigonometric ratio sign and we found out this entire angle and after finding the big angle, we used the cosine rule to find out the side BX. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked my video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.